Hi, my name is Om, and this is Mao's Top 10 Moments. End of a Great Legacy. He died in Beijing on September 9th, 1976. This led to Deng, Deng Xiaoping taking control of China, and Mao's mausoleum is buried in Tiananmen Square. People still visit him today. Born December 26th. 1893, in the village of Shoshan, Chairman Mao was driven from the beginning of his life, and he participated in the Korean War when he was a young adult. Afterwards, he went to Peking University. Both of his parents were farmers. His dad was poor, but became more established by selling grain. The Treaty of 100 Flowers The treaty gave free rights to to be for people to give healthy criticism, but too much criticism took place, so the plan was stopped. In less than a year, talking bad about the government was against the law. Meeting with the Soviet Union. This led to Mao starting the Hundred Flowers Movement based off of the Russian five year plan. When Joseph Stalin was overthrown by Khrushchev, Mao felt afraid and fired two of his most trusted officials. An interest in communism. While studying at Peking University, Mao became interested with communism. In 1921, he joined the Communist Party. He led the Communist Party bravely and founded the Chinese Soviet Republic. November 28, 1938, Zhang and Mao married in a small private ceremony. Zhang was a former actress. She became involved in politics after marrying Mao. She was his third wife. They had a child, and her name was Li Ma, and was born in 1940. Zhang Kuen was prosecuted after Mao's death, along with the fellow members of the Gang of Four. In 1934, Mao and his forces were given up. The travel north along a long north called Long North. During the long march, the Red Army bombed the going to attack Khan. Thousands of the support in the village, even as Mao stopped and to talk to the village folk. And by gaining their trust, the Red Army grew even, even bigger, while many of his soldiers died during the trip. While the nationalists were still weak from fighting off Japan with the strongest amount of Mao help, sensing weakness, Mao struck and beat the nationalists. Then he founded the People's Republic of China and declared himself chairman. Mao began the great leap forward. Mao wanted China to keep up with the rest of the world. All farmers sent to large places called communes where they would produce steel. Everybody pitched in by giving their knives and silverware to make steel. They had to catch up to Britain and America who had a 200 year head start. Everybody was very enthusiastic until they realized that the metal they were making was scrap metal and was not good for anything. With no tools to use, a flooding was spread across the country, and the death toll supposedly rose to 45 million people. The Cultural Revolution was the most striking movement that Mao ever started. Mao's little red army filled with red guards were loyal to him, carrying their books full of quotes from Mao. They were crazy for Mao. They went around destroying worlds and murdering people from the five black categories. A few famous quotes from the Cultural Revolution were, one, revolution is a splendid celebration. Two, we have to pry the whip from the hand of the class enemy and whip that class enemy back. Number three, the Cultural Revolution is an event to shatter heaven and earth. Number four, if your father was a revolutionary, then you're automatically a hero. If your father was a counter-revolutionary, then you're automatically a loser.